forbidding officers of the Department of Homeland Security Federal Protection Service to make arrests. Recommendation is to pass as is. Vice Chair. Recommendation of the chair is to pass Senate Bill 1315. Chair is going to go up. Vice Chair is up. Senator Green. Aye. Measures adopted. Other two are excused. Senate Bill 1253 relating to public safety and the Structured Community Placement Program for Nonviolent Female Offenders. Recommendation of the chair will be to defer indefinitely since uh, we are able to do this already. Senate Bill 1120, relating to the maximum age for commitment to a youth correctional facility, will defer decision making until the 14th at 245. Uh, taking into consideration, we'll be looking at the comments uh, made by Martha as well as the uh, judge in the family court. Senate Bill 1179, relating to court orders to provide medical treatment for inmates and detainees in correctional facilities. Recommendation, uh, technical amendments and amendments made by the Attorney General. Uh, questions or comments? If none, Vice Chair. Senate Bill 1179, Chair recommends we pass with amendments. Senator Green, aye. Senator Baker, and Senator Sparrow vote aye. Measures adopted. Senate Bill 1181, relating to committed persons on furlough. Recommendation of the Chair will be to pass with amendments. Amendments from Public Safety and the Attorney General as well. Any questions or comments? If not, Vice Chair. Recommendation is to pass with amendments, Senate Bill 1181, objections, reservations, hearing none, measures adopted. Senate Bill 1183, relating to intake service centers, recommendation of the chair will be to pass with technical amendments, 1183. Recommendation of the chair is to pass Senate Bill 1183 with uh, technical amendments. Objections or reservations to the recommendation of the chair. Hearing none, measures adopted. And final agenda item here, and we do have another agenda for DM only. Senate Bill 1182, relating to the service of process. Recommendation of the chair will be to defer until the 14th. Uh, we will uh, consider language regarding the task force, but also see if there's some housekeeping items that we should add uh, to help Department of Public Safety. So that completes this agenda and now we will go to the DM agenda for 245. 245, 2 o'clock. No, actually this is not. Okay. We did the total. No. So we have to do. Uh, we have to do this one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to the two o'clock agenda, where we had the joint hearing with higher education, and this had to do with the aviation training center, flight center on the Big Island. Recommendation of the chair will be to chairs will be to pass with amendments Senate Bill 1221. Vice Chair? Recommendation is to pass Senate Bill 1221 with amendments. Are there objections or reservations to the recommendation of the chair? Hearing none, measure is adopted. Thank you. Now the 245 decision-making agenda, starting with Senate Bill 464. I'll let you get the voting sheets ready. This first item, Senate Bill 464, it is a single referral, and uh, we will defer this measure for decision-making. We're, we're still drafting some language. We do have time. Um, is Thursday okay on that? Does that give you some time, or do you want to uh, wait till... Um, refer after the, the deadline. Okay. So why don't we do it then next Tuesday? Perfect. Next Tuesday. Next that's Tuesday, 245. Yeah, I think that's the 20th. Whatever yes. date that is. The 20th. That's In the conference 20th. room 224. Very good. Okay. The 20th or the 19th? 
That's the 19th. It's the 19th. Today's the 12th, so okay. yeah, seven days. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Glad somebody's math is good. And for Senate Bill 727 relating to economic development, a recommendation will be to defer indefinitely. Senate Bill 682 relating to fire protection. Um, the State Fire Council offered some amendments today as well. So let me look at those, check with some of the others, and we'll defer this one also until next week, Tuesday. Right, Monday's a holiday. That's yeah, Monday's right. a holiday. Don't yeah. forget that, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Senate Bill 586 was a joint with agriculture, and the recommendation of the chair was to pass with amendments. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, thank you. With amendments for Senate Bill 586. Vice Chair? Recommendation of the chair is to pass Senate Bill 586 with amendments. Any reservations or objections to the recommendation of the chair? Hearing none, measures adopted. Senate Bill 212 relating to the state building code. And this has to do with uh, the time period to implement for the counties. Um, the recommendation of the chair will be to pass with amendments and Instead of the six years, we'll make it to three years. Uh, that's somewhat of a compromise at this stage. Uh, members, any questions or comments? If none, Vice Chair. Recommendation is to pass Senate Bill 212 with amendments. Are there any reservations or objections to the recommendation of the chair? Measures adopted. Thank you. Senate Bill 213 relating to the state building code. code. Recommendation of the chair will be to pass with amendments. Um, currently, the membership is seven, and there is an interest of individuals and organizations to be involved, so that's the good news. The bad news is we're going to increase it to 15 members. <laughs> Holy moly. Yes. never get quorum. And Basically, we currently have four county building officials, uh, the one state fire council, a structural engineer, Association of Hawaii, and the American Institute of Architects, and some state department personnel as well. The additional members will be um, the DBED will replace the Department of Health, DAGS will replace the Department of Labor, and we'll be adding a member with the Building Industry Association, the General Contractors Association, the Hawaii Construction Alliance, <laughs> Building Trades, American Council of Engineering Companies of Hawaii, and the Subcontractors Association of Hawaii. I hope this is an engaged, active group. If there are problems with that, we will take it up in the future. Members, any questions or comments? You know, I'd also like to take Senate Bill 683, which had the um, funding, and 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 put a general uh, fund appropriation because um, they don't have any funding at this time. If you do it, you're going to have to get it re-referred. Yes, and I, I don't have any problem with that. And I'll ask um, the chair to look at that okay. um, because the other measure. 683 is a WAM referral, but I'm just going to defer that one until I let you know that. So, okay. so members, recommendation is to pass with amendments, Senate Bill 213. Questions or comments? If not, Vice Chair. Recommendation is to pass Senate Bill 213 with amendments, uh, objections or reservations to the recommendation of the chair, hearing none, measures adopted. Thank you. Senate Bill 683, recommendation of the chair will be to defer indefinitely. And Senate Bill 932, a recommendation of the chair is to pass with amendments. This was a joint with health, and this had to do with uh, gun control and mental health issues, basically. Any questions or comments, Vice Chair? 932, pass with amendments. Okay, recommendation comes to 
Recommendation of the chair is to pass Senate Bill 932 with amendments. Any objections or reservations to the recommendation of the chair? Hearing none, measures adopted. Since the two of us have already voted on yes, it. It's very safe today. So I believe, does that end our agenda? 571. There's one more somewhere? Okay. 571, TIA and PSM. Okay, 571. Relating to the county surcharge on the state tax, yes, the recommendation of the chairs was to pass with amendments. Questions or comments, Vice Chair? Recommendation is to pass Senate Bill 571 with amendments. Are there any objections or reservations to the recommendation of the chair? Hearing none, measures adopted. I believe that ends our agendas for the day. Thank you. This is Focus 49, Community, Up Close and Personal, Olalo. Surface high pressure far north of the area will keep trade winds blowing through the middle of next week. Ridging aloft will keep the atmosphere stable and rainfall light through Thursday. A trough aloft will move over the area from the southeast starting Thursday night, making showers more active. Trade winds will gradually strengthen starting Thursday night as surface high pressure builds to the north. Windy weather may be in store for next week. Here's the forecast for Kauai, Oahu, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. Tonight, windward. Mostly cloudy with scattered showers. Leeward, partly cloudy with isolated showers. Low 65 to 70. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday through Thursday. Windward, mostly cloudy with scattered showers. Leeward, partly cloudy with isolated showers, mainly during the nights and mornings. High 78 to 83. Low 65 to 70. East winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. Friday through Sunday, locally breezy. Windward, mostly cloudy with numerous showers except scattered showers in the afternoon. Leeward, partly cloudy with isolated showers. Highs 77 to 82. Low 65 to 70. East winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's the forecast for the Big Island, tonight, windward, mostly cloudy, with scattered showers. Leeward, mostly cloudy, with isolated showers in the evening, then clearing, locally hazy.